All right, here we go, guys. Today is notes 15.5 uh, because it's not really a new lesson. It's really an old lesson. We're going to continue it. And then after, the, after today, we'll have a one more quiz, quiz 16. Uh, that can, it's pretty easy. I think it's one of the easier quizzes. Um, it's uh, over exponentials and logs. Uh, yeah, I do. I have a video. I already posted it up. Uh, it's, well, it's from last year, but I, already, I attached it in Canvas as well. Uh, so let's let's start, guys. So notice that I want to take the derivative of this. Now, if I take the derivative the way it looks like right now, just flat out, uh, of course, it says the word logarithmic, but let's just pretend it said take the derivative. It looks like it would be a very nasty quotient rule with product and chain. Do you see how it would be just nasty? Yeah, it'd be it'd be it'd be ugly. So what we're gonna do, it's called logarithmic differentiation. And I have actually have not seen uh, a lot of these on the AP exam, I've seen one. I've seen one, but I haven't seen, like they won't, they're not gonna text you extreme on this, but it's good to know, it's good to know how to do it. Let me just take a quick sip of caffeine and I'll get started guys. Oh, because of the humidity. Um, sorry, miss. All right, so here we go. Uh, anytime you have this issue here, so we're gonna take the derivative. Here's what you should do. We're gonna take logarithmic differentiation. So what that means is whatever you do to one side, you do to the other, and you're gonna write ln of the whole shebang. Now, a side note, just in case you forgot, if I have ln of a, b over c, that's the same thing as saying ln a plus ln b minus ln c. Now, don't forget, if it's the other way around, ln of a over b, c, then that is ln a minus, giant parenthesis, ln b minus, oh, plus plus L and C, because B and C is together, and then distribute the negative, and then that would be L and A minus L and B minus L and C. And that you know from Algebra 2 slash pre-count. They're just properties. Well, hopefully from a previous math course. So here we go. Now that I know that, I'm gonna write L and Y equals and now notice this x to the 3 fourths is like a, that square root of x squared plus one is like b, and that three x squared plus two is like c. So I can write ln of x to the 3 fourths, and you don't necessarily need to put a parenthesis, you can just say x to the 3 fourths together, because it's understood, but I like to put them so we can show. ln of square root of x squared plus one minus ln of 3x squared plus 2. And if you want to put a double parenthesis like that to showcase. All right. So now what, what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, you're right. I almost made a mistake there. 3x plus 2. And it would not have been correct. All right. So before I take a derivative, guys, I mean, you can already take a derivative now. But I like to work with the simplest possible form. So you see these exponents, this has an exponent, you just don't see it. Uh, it's x squared plus one raised to the half. I'm gonna move them to the front using the power rule of logs. So I'm gonna have ln of y equals three fourths ln of x plus, that's a half there, so one half ln of x squared plus one minus, that's a five there, five ln of 3x plus 2. Virtual class, are you guys okay with this? Yes. All right, so now I'm ready. I'm going to take the derivative, but now with respect to y, with respect to, uh -oh, with respect to x. So what's the derivative of ln of y? Oh, did you guys forget? 1 over y times dy dx equals that 3 fourths is a constant, leave it alone. 
So three fourths times the derivative of ln of x is one over x. In a little bit, we'll start joining stuff in there. Plus one half times the derivative of ln x squared plus one is one over x squared plus one times, times what? Two x minus five, and then the derivative of ln of three x plus two is one over three x plus two times three. What? I'll wait, I'll wait for everyone to catch up. Is everyone okay so far, guys? Everyone okay so far? Wait, Charles. What's up? How do you know that you have to take the derivative with respect to x? Oh, because we're just doing differentiation. Anytime you take a derivative, if it's just an equation and it has x in it, x is in it, you're gonna take it with respect to x all the time. Now, in this case, we have a y, but that's simple. We, we're gonna, the derivative of y is just dy dx. We're always taking derivatives with respect to x. Always, always, always. Unless, unless there's a t or it's a related rate. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fix it a little better. So let's see, one over y equal, oh, well, the dy dx is still there, guys. It hasn't gone anywhere dy dx equals, let's see, three over four x plus a half and a two cancel out, x over x squared plus one. Don't, don't, uh, don't cancel anything there. Uh, minus and then five times three is 15. So 15 over three x plus two. All right, I'm gonna get rid of that y there. So times y times y. So we are almost done. dy dx equals y times all of this. Last, the last thing we gotta do. I do not wanna have dy dx. I don't wanna see a y in it. I just wanna see x's in it. So we come back and notice that they told us right here what y is. Hey, relax. It's, it's ugly, but we're done. Nope, because it's already in factored form. So I'm zooming out just so I can see it, guys. I'll zoom back in a little bit. So here's my derivative, dy dx equals x to the 3 fourths square root of x squared plus 1 over 3x plus 2 to the fifth times three over four x plus x over x squared plus one minus 15 over three x plus two. And there is a question like that on UH and that's exactly what you're gonna do. Delta mass doesn't actually even have these questions. <laughs> At least I haven't seen it. If I see it, I'll put it in there, but I haven't seen them. And there it is, it's, it's, uh, that's about as hard as it gets, guys. And probably we should have started with the easier one first, which is this one here. Um, so, my bad, next time I'll remember. You know what, let me put it in here. For, for future notes, switch example one and two. All right, I've seen something similar to this question on the AP exam y equals x to the power x. Notice it's a lot simpler. There is no definition for this. This is like you have a variable x in the bottom raised to an exponent x. Uh, so there is no like form, or I guess maybe if you look on the internet, maybe they'll, you'll find a formula for this. Uh, but we gotta do it with, we, we've gotta take a derivative and you can't bring that x down and you can't use your log rules or ln rules or exponential rules because you have a variable raised to a variable. So you're gonna to have to do logarithmic differentiation. So again, what did I do? Let's see, I brought that x down and I did that by putting ln on both sides. It's ln of all this, and then I do ln of all that. So then it turns to ln y, and you don't really need a parenthesis there. 
equals x ln of x. And you don't need to put the parentheses there. It's understood, but that's fine. I like to put parentheses so it's better. And now I'm ready to take a derivative. So what's the derivative of ln y? Yep, 1 over y dy dx equals, and then what rule do I got to use here? Product. First, times the derivative of the second, plus second, times the derivative of the first. So let's see what we get. 1 over y dy dx. Those x's cancel out, so you just get 1 plus ln x. Now I'm going to multiply everything by y. So times y times y. So you have dy dx equals y, 1 plus ln x. And again, you don't want to see a y in there. So here we go. y is equal to x to the power x. So I come back in here. And I write dy dx equals x to the power x, 1 plus ln x. And maybe we should have done that one first, but my bad. Sorry, guys. Next year, I'll switch it. My next year won't matter, right? But the BC students will still be here, but you guys won't. So the BC students will remember that uh, I'm going to switch those two up. All right. So then I put a little task here. I put, I think we're ready for UH Quiz 16. 